Okay, so we're gonna check out Poppy Playtime. Now, I'm not the one to jump on YouTube bandwagons when they happen. At least I, I like to think I'm not <laughs> that kind of person. But I'm gonna make an exception with this game because this game actually looks hecking cool. I saw that like this was really only recently and it looks cool. I saw a bit of it and someone recommended it to me. So uh, we're gonna check it out. Apparently it's only the first chapter and it's like uh, uh, Bendy the ink machine but better or something like people say that it's it's like Bendy <laughs> but better So I can definitely see the see the resemblance to Bendy, but yeah, let me just uh, quickly take a look here Resolution let's go the biggest <laughs> Best. No motion blur. Thank you. Some 30 to 60 minutes long, depending on how good you are, yeah. Poppy. Like the disturbing yet funny Japanese show for kids. I don't know, maybe. Oh, it's for. Yeah, yeah, let me. Thanks for. Uh... There we go. Alright, so. Chapter 1! A tight squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co, you finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Let's go. I already love this game. Expect this game to blow up. Seriously. Expect like every YouTuber to make videos about this and uh, every fucking MatPat making theories about this. Like this is the next the most Next game. Incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first. Hang on, why is it like crusting? Let me increase the audio. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll. Is it supposed to crust? To I don't think child. it is. Hard to believe. Like it's lagging for me though. That's not just, just you guys. Okay, something's wrong. Let me go to window mode. Things usually work better in, when you're in window mode. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, Poppy. Hang on. Let's force quit you. Let's force quit. Go windowed and do that again. Might be a thing with Unreal Engine's like uh, video playing capabilities. Okay, let me go to... Um, here we go, and then I'm gonna capture it, yeah, there we go. Alright. You <laughs> redo the YouTube intro? <laughs> no, I won't. I'm not gonna cut the recording for this. It's gonna be part of it. You little rascal. Okay, let's hope it works now. You are about to see. <laughs> no! It's. Oh my god! Bad PC! Poppy Playground is too much for me! I can't play! Poppy! Crust! Okay, no, let's let's see if the game works. We just gotta muster through this glitchy ass, fucking crusty ass intro. My settings were at best. Okay, hang on, hang on. She is the first doll actually. One more time, guys! One more time. One more time. YouTube the intro? What do you mean YouTube the intro? Oh yeah, YouTube the intro. Well, the thing is, I can't skip the intro. Let me... Graphics. Just, uh... Let's go with basic. Basic bitches. That we are. Maybe that helps. Draw distance, I don't think that matters. Okay, here we go. 
one more time. If the intro is messed up, but the game is fine, find the YouTube. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. The intro just doesn't work! The most incredible Please let me at least skip it. Her name is I like how the EXE is called Playtime Prototype 4. Like, this is still like a work in progress. Okay, guys. This is like the fucking Jack and Daxter disc errors. Okay, guys, let's just watch this because I can't skip it. actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe. Devs! Just watch. Your video is broken! <laughs> no, I'm uh, I'm sure it's fine. Hang on, ready? Oh my god. You never heard of this game? What's the deal? That's because the game came out like uh, three days ago or something. <laughs> My VHS just player is too crusty. You're sad the intro is messed up for me, it's amazing. Yeah, they put a lot of effort into making the aesthetic. Well, you get the idea though. You get the idea. What's the time? Toy Factory, Scary Toy Doll. If you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. You already hate it. Factory tours at just two ninety nine. This is what every VHS plays like. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on earth. Just six bucks. What the fuck? Okay. Let's hope the game works. This company advertises their doll. That's the first doll that can talk to your child like a real little girl. Okay. We are in. There's a, there's a little bit of lag. I think my PC just can't handle this game. Now that everything is loaded in, it seems to be fine though. Okay guys, here we are in the factory. Let me go to OK with all of these. Gonna become very crusty, but I like crusty. Okay. Oh my god, it's like Omega Cruise. <laughs> look at this, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, th now it actually looks like hard to look at. I, I, I need to go back up, up a bit. It just came out, so it might still not have the best optimization. Yeah, that's that's most likely the case. That's most likely the, the case. Let me go back to basic. There we go. Yeah, this one I can look at. Let me guess, Poppy is like Chucky, a living doll that wants to kill you. Okay, guys, look at this. We're in. Hang on, now that the... Let me see if I can just go to... Go to border window. There we go. Now I can actually see what's going on. Don't need to squint. Look at this. E to interact. Oh my god. Poppy wants to play. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please no. Poopy. Okay. Okay, you can run in this game. That's good. Oh, there's just blood over here. Just like that. Oh my god, baby head. Hang on, let me take a look at my items. It's a green VHS, but I can't do anything with it. 
Oh wait, a green VHS player. Hi, my name is Lake Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Is the volume alright by the way? I'm afraid it's gonna like be super loud. You saw this game on Twitter? Yeah, that's why I'm playing it because expect this, this game to blow up. Eat healthy like brown. It's okay, okay. Boogie bot. <laughs> Look at that. Boogie. Oh, look at this kitty. Kitty. Boogie bot. Okay. All the huggies are gone. Lasagna. You're currently making lasagna? Oh, hell yeah. Hmm. These glass windows have been shattered on the wall. Whatever they mean. Do we have any? Okay. Will come. Okay. How do I... Uh... Brace for puzzles? Yeah. I'm actually playing the game you suggested. Yeah, because like I woke up this morning and I was like, oh shit YouTube is recommending me a new horror game looks pretty cool And then I checked Twitter and uh, you actually recommended it to me and I'm like sure it's only five bucks Why not? So here we are This game is like I'm expecting this game to blow up. I keep saying it, but like this game This game has it all There's like a hand up there. The floor. The same one from AI's Toy Barn in Toy Story 2. Oh! Looks the same, yeah. Oh, Al, not AI. <laughs> Bruh. Who's else? Maybe we gotta find the code. Oh, you can crouch. Okay, that's good to know. Candy cat. Yo, that's cute. Look at that. Candy cat. <laughs> oh, shit. The train. Red, yellow, pink, green, perhaps? Red, yellow, pink, green. Could that be it? <laughs> yes! Now I feel smart. We got another thing.
So it's everywhere at the edge of every nurse at the same time music. Tighten the straps. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Okay, so this is this game's like uh, thing. Do not fire at a co-worker. <laughs> Dead. The grab back is generally one of the most fun mechanics you've seen in a horror game. I like it when uh, horror games actually try to do something fun with their gameplay. Yo! Hold down the pull objects. Oh shit! Yeah, this is really cool. There's like physics and shit. Can I go in here? No. Oh shit! <laughs> Rayman! Rayman horror game. I don't like the eyes of this lad. Baby head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right as a hand. You're playing this? Yeah, it was so cheap. And I, once again... That's fucking scary. Okay, it's a statue. You love this game? You have high hopes for the next episode? Yes, I'm gonna say it once again. I'm expecting this game to blow up big time and I hope it's gonna be good and not like bendy and the cum machine, if you know what I mean. I hope this is gonna go be good. They already have a very good and clever like gameplay mechanic here with the grab pack. So I hope, pray, pray to Bendy's ass that they will like uh, use it well. <laughs> Bendy at the dumb factory. Don't be. Stop. Employees only. This better become <laughs> good and big so you can buy the plush in real life. <laughs> yes! Did you guys ever notice that it has the same head shape as Bendy? It's just Bendy but better all around. I, I read that as motivation, but it's innovation. I like the art. Like, look at this little uh, bee tiger or whatever. Like, the art in this uh, is really cool and cute. It actually looks like little... <laughs> yeah, it looks like Bendy! Oh my god. Okay, we need two hands for that door. Huggy Wucky! Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of- wait. Uh, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of 
What does it say? With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pile Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co's most popular and best selling toy so far. Anyone whose like last name is Ludwig can't be a good guy, just saying. That wasn't there a moment ago. <laughs> Give me the key, Hoogie Woogie! Hoogie Woogie Woogie! Oh shit, there we go. Okay, we have the key. You don't want Hoogie Woogie to hug you. <laughs> Staff only. Oh my god, that scared me. That fucking poster scared me. I'm gonna close that just in case. Why is there blood with like these toy pieces? Holy fuck. Is this like a girl huggy? Miss Wuggy. Do be kind to others. Do show up on time. Do not hide behind doors to scare Lathe Pierre. Who the fuck is Lathe Pierre? Also, why is it like in the green? Like, do not. <laughs> Don't stay past 8 pm. Misuse company time. Tamper with machinery. Enter innovation wing without authorization. This line right here scares me. <laughs> if the right body we had a toy factory. <laughs> he has his own mini mouse. Yeah, basically. Basically. Go to the innovation wing. Oh, maybe we can open this with E. Oh, wait, wait, there's something over here. <laughs> Look at that, they like uh, guide you with like hand-painted things. Oh, fuck, look at this. We're diverting power. Hang on, does it have like physics? Oh fuck, look at this! An actual like clever gameplay mechanic they got going on here. Oh fuck. Oh, too tight. Too tight. Yes! I love this already. <laughs> Ultra Raybar. <laughs> poos! Gotta love the poos. Okay. I guess we have power again. At least the... I hear someone pissing. At least the lights are back on. I wonder if they're gonna do like Half-Life things where you got like... You know. No. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> no, I don't wanna. I don't wanna do. I don't wanna. I don't wanna move. <laughs> oh no! Okay, now, now we're now we have entered the edge, the edging zone. 
now we know that Hoogie Woogie can jump behind the corner from uh, like any moment from behind the corner. Oh my god. Wait, so don't enter innovation without permission. Um Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh hell nah! Huggy Wuggy got the jaggy ass hitbox! <laughs> Yo, I love this candy cat, look at that, it's so cute! Yum! Eat! Yum yum! Oh no, here we have the pink Hoogie Woogie. What was that? Like a f sound. Stairway to hell. <laughs> okay, let's go to hell. No. 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 Okay, I'm gonna like stand back and just run. <laughs> okay, it was just Steve. <laughs> the goddamn Steve jump scare. I think like some other game also had the Steam jump scare, but I can't remember which one. I think it was Amnesia. Okay, you entered the factory area. This hallway is super scary. <laughs> oh, Gabe Newell. Uh, it's just me, Gabe Newell. Oh shit, orange player. Do we have an orange, like, uh, cassette somewhere? Uh, it's just me, Gabe Newell. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, I hear everywhere at the sheet of time music. Let's see if we can find the orange. Oh yeah, there's definitely lag. Like at the moment when I'm like looking over there and there's so much, many things. Remember to take breaks. Breaks longer than 10 minutes are not permitted. Thanks, Boogie. What did I pick up? It's like a car battery or something. <laughs> Poopy playtime. Mmm, poop. Oh my god, the baby head. That box just moved on its own. Yeah, you know what I mean. Moved on its own. Handle with care, shipment is highly fragile, do not drop. Okay, this take, takes us back. I'm gonna close this door, I feel like Woombi Tungi is gonna like come. We got the orange. Have I shitted yet? Yeah, I got a steam jump scare by Gabe Newell. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance last did a sweep of this place? No. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program, on brand. Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when 
manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't fight stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... It's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is... Is that even a word? Habitable. So they're having like cheap cheapment, no shipment issues. Look at that head. I wish you could hold these items. But they just like throw away. Maybe. <laughs> Sigma tips. Why is there a hole in the ground? That's hazardous. A gamer hole. <laughs> we need two hands. Oh, look at that! The second hand is up there. Could I potentially do a... Guys, look at that. It's hoogie woogie. Hang on, let me go up there. Why are you grabbing things with Yoinkies blowing it? <laughs> it's the cool game mechanic. Oh my god! Oh! Holy fuck. And I saw it from down there. Like, I saw a blue thing and I, Okay, I'm gonna go check that out. Oh my god. Yeah, can I, like, jump up here? I can. Oh, there's an invisible wall. I couldn't uh, go over the things. That's what you wanted me to look out for? Oh my fuck. Okay, we'll no, we'll have him in here. We know that Hungi Bungi is after us. You didn't see the scary thing. Hungi Bungi was behind that door, and then just like closed the door on us. I guess we're going down to the gamer hall. That's the only only like. How do you get over the fear of horror games? You just do. Okay, you can't go down. The gamer hole. Maybe I can climb up there, like with physics. You think you saw a battery in the? Oh yeah. So we have a, a green and an orange battery. Where do we put those? If you think about it, this game is oddly similar to Bentley. A g <laughs> Bentley. <laughs> uh, a guy receives a letter to come back to his old abandoned workplace and finds tapes to get to know what happened. Yeah, while being chased. Yeah, I think that's just like uh, natural because people were frustrated about Bendy, so they want to make something good about it, so this honestly feels like some fans were like, you know, fucking hell. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, I have the... Yes! Okay, yellow battery, we need to find a yellow battery. <laughs> Bendy but good, yes, exactly. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Who is Bendy and why is he bad? Oh my god.
Okay, we got the second glove. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and you have a limited rope. That's fucking clever. But wait, there was um, there was another door like this at the beginning. Should I go take a look at that? Oh fuck! Yeah, you you use like both mouse buttons. One hundred percent run, speed run. Oh wait, the door is closed. Can't go back there. Okay. <laughs> Slow run. Imagine if the hands were stretchy toys like big hands, you find the gumball machines. They kind of do remind me of those, and that's really cool. I guess we're going in here then. Ooh. Grab to complete the circuit. Yeah, no hints unless I ask for them. Ah, here we go, we got the, the poles. Okay, here's the one. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 Yo, thanks for the sub. Holy shit. So this is like a toy piece conveyor belt. Yeah, this is where he was hiding, like in the in the conveyor. Oh fuck. Weird lag. Fostering happiness. Adopt an orphan today! Playtime co-foster and adoptive care initiative strives to create permanency in the lives of orphan children by recruiting adoptive and foster parents with our own organization. We encourage all Playtime co-employees to take part in our mission by fostering or adopting an orphan child. Participating employees may be eligible for additional benefits! <laughs> This initiative helps children not only in the Midwest region, but also orphans around the world. Every child deserves a chance at a new life. Holy fuck. Imagine your workplace being like, you will get extra benefits if you acquire a child. What the fuck was that? Oh, it was just uh... Nobody leaves without a toy. Yeah, the character is human, the grabby arms are equipment. Yo, is this Bendy? This is better. Bendy. Two. <laughs> no. There we go. You missed uh, and why I'm here. Uh, I don't know, we just started here.
this is sun uh... oh shit look at this it's like a whole fucking thing oh Hang on. This is cool. I really like this hand mechanic. Yeah, this game mechanic is fucking bopping and slapping. Shipping and pissing. Oh, look at that. The door is like... You can't just... Puzzles going on here. Can I walk on this? Oh Okay, you can't walk on that and I heard like a weird crunch <laughs> Wait make a friend our founder Elion Ludwig was a visionary He set the stage for all of playtime goes greatest feats yet of all the amazing things that he created the make a friend machine is one of the most creative impressive and advanced it is so responsible for nearly every play Dunko toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts and it will then paint, assemble and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or backbreaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Needs power. That's what we're doing up there. And goes broken. <laughs> yeah, the crunch damage sound is really good. You broke the scrungus. <laughs> yeah, knees. The knees suffered. Okay, so we gotta... Pull that. Then. There we go. And I do like this. I like this. And hopefully this is enough. Yes. Okay, there's power now. <laughs> it's like it's like an eating sound effect from some survival game, like, like from the forest. Sounds like tweaks breaking. Hang on, let me lower the volume ever so slightly. <laughs> Look at these fucking googly eyes. Caution, do not enter. Well, I'm gonna enter. Oh, you can't. Um. Oh, look at that. Oh shit, we got stuff. <laughs> Don't enter the caution hall. It's going in. That machine is looking at me. This looks like something out of Pop the Builder. Okay, now the parts have been painted. <laughs> Look at this fucker. There he goes!
a quality check. Look at this. We got our own uh, tiger bee. Fella. Dude. The man. You want a toy? It's really cute. Can we create more? Nobody leaves without a toy. Okay, here we go. You have to scan a toy to exit. Holy fuck! Oh my god, the face! Oh my god, I, the stairs. Holy fuck, it's so tall. Oh my god, this is like the nightmare booming. I've been. Oh! Huggy, Huggy. Huggy, Huggy! What's wrong with you, Huggy? <laughs> Huggy! Oh my god! Okay. Hello, Huggy. You are absolutely terrifying. <laughs> this isn't supposed to happen! Yeah, most definitely not. He just stopped. Like I went to the to the space over there and he just stopped moving. Oh my god, look at how he's like looking at me. No hooks there, hooks there. Oh now we have a flashlight. What the hell is that pounding? Oh my god! Holy fuck! Scary! Oh, lag! Ah! <laughs> Innovation is key! Okay, thank you, science. That vent chase. Is fucking terrifying. How how far back are we? Okay, well, uh, hey, just the, okay. <laughs> Was that an Among Us reference? Oh my god, I love that so much. He is amazing. I love Huggy Wuggy's design so much. Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna look back. Don't look back, don't look back! <laughs> don't look back, don't look back. Get up! Holy fuck, what is that supposed to be in a get up? Oh... Okay. 
You will be the creator of sex. Oh, that's what's banging. He's like coming from there if you didn't see him. Oh no. Hoogie swing! <laughs> oh no! I forgot! Oh god. Shame about the lag. I need you alive! Get up! Shame about the lag, but you're sure the devs will optimize this better. Hopefully. I mean, it's Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine is very. Uh, you know. <laughs> Baba booey. I also like that the jump scare like doesn't try to scare you, if you know what I mean. Like the jump scare is there because you need to have an animation for Huggy Wuggy like catching you, but it's not supposed to just like... I guess what I'm trying to say is that the jump scare isn't annoying. It's not even really a jump scare, it's just like... him catching you. Which I like. Fuck! Okay, let's uh, let's try to do this. Where's the crouching? Okay, go over here, and then over here. Oh fuck no! Open, open, Susan! Oh my god! Oh my god, Hoogie died! Whoa, 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 whoa! He left behind blood. He left behind actual blood. It was not a robot. Holy fuck. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> that chase scene. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. It actually like made me fucking scream. Like looking back and seeing that face coming after you, like wrapping all the walls. <sighs> that was so good. We found a uh, VHS. <laughs> that looks. Final log in relation experiment one zero zero six. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... Oh my god, you could hear like banging and screaming and wailing in the background. Okay, <laughs> okay, I like this. It's not trying to be like mysterious. Like, well, uh, it is mysterious, but like it's not trying to be something it's not. They just straight up told you there's like some weird experimentation going on. And I like that. I like this setup a lot.
Yeah, this is like uh, the horror movie with like the puppets and shit. No run, no stop, go back, turn around! Suddenly, like, amnesia corridor. Oh shit, it's the curse cabinet. You know how there's like this real life haunted doll? Like, of course it's not haunted. But you know, it's the same kind of cabinet. Oh shit, that caught me. Yes! <laughs> okay, that was okay, yes. It's like, uh, hang on. Isaac, Zach, Seth, Zachary, Mika, Malakai, Andy. Okay, it's, it's a good handful of people. It's not like one man band or anything like that, but uh, this. <laughs> Big brap clappers, yes. This is, yeah, this is how you make a, like a first impression. I love this. I can't wait for more, and I seriously hope it won't turn out like Bendy did. Like, seriously. I, I'm fucking like, clapping my ass, doing the funny little dance, saying the magic words, just fucking hoping this doesn't turn out like Bendy. I hope the devs already have like a plan. You know, they already know what's gonna happen, and all that shit, and now they're just making the game. Oh yeah! <laughs> Can't wait for more! I'm definitely gonna play out the chapters as they come out. So, uh, everybody buy the game. Yes, it's only five bucks. It's only five euros on, uh, on Steam. Get it. It's awesome. And I hope I won't eat these words in the future, because, you know, bendy. <laughs> but seriously. Investing good ideas. Yes. You already have more faith on the team. Yes. Schooling in delight, kicking my feet and doing little cups. <laughs> yeah. I gotta like uh, Google the devs and like find out if they've made any other games in the past. Because this was amazing. Actual amazing first chapter. Yes. Don't create the story based on fan theories. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, and they could like make all these uh, different monsters. Okay. Okay, 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 hear me out. I think Huggy Wuggy's design was so good. Like, it's. You can already see that the design, like, of the blue little dude is uh, very captivating. It's not just like a boring monster or anything like that. It's very. Like, uh, look at this fucking face. Like, this design alone could carry the game. <laughs> just. Just saying. I wonder if you could actually enter that other door with the two hands. Maybe there are secrets in the chapter one. Who knows? You're so afraid Candy Cat and the long tongue. Oh my god. Yeah, that was amazing. I can't wait for more and I definitely check out all the chapters as they come out. Bye Pop Poopy Playtime <laughs> from Steve. It's very good.